no, 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 no. Gotta be freaking kidding me. Left my freaking GoPro. Jeez. <sighs> well, it's not, a, I'm at home. It's, I don't have it on me. Left it at church. Praise God. Yeah. So, today, it's gonna be interesting. <laughs> So, I don't even know what I'm doing now, man. Got the kayak right there. I'm ready to roll. It's gorgeous outside. I guess I should stop complaining. Should, I should be happy that I can actually go uh, fishing today. Let me hook this thing up. I'll be back. If I can one-hand it. Thing number two not to do. Boy, I tell you what, I've not been this angry in a very long time. <laughs> So while we while we roll out to the spot, it's called Abo Lake. It's in Fredericksburg, Fred Stafford County, really. Uh, it's down the street from where I live. I wish I lived on a lake. There's some beautiful houses on a lake, but I'm not <laughs> I'm not there yet. <laughs> uh, but I'm definitely about to go hit some of their docks with some jigs. You know what I'm saying? Everything looks to be cool kayak isn't falling off so let me just take a little time real quick just to talk man have a checklist you know if you're not like a Greg Blanchard or Robert Field those guys probably um, those guys probably can pack their kayaks and their their gear out while they're blindfolded they've done it so much um, but for me I'm a new I'm not even gonna lie so uh, you live, you man. You live, you live, and you learn, dude. So I mean, it is what it is. A couple things not to forget. Number one, um, don't forget your license, right? You want to be legal in everything that you do. Number two, um, uh, don't forget your life vest. <laughs> you want to be alive, right? Uh, number three, uh, don't forget to bring water. You know what I mean? If you get out there, get dehydrated definitely don't don't want that to happen I always take a granola bar as well uh, number four uh, don't forget your paddle definitely uh, sorry I'm doing a Jeep wave uh, paddle what else I probably should have did this in the top ten I'm trying to think of other things you know your tackle uh, you can get out to the fish bank and, and just completely forgot your tackle uh, I always take even when I'm bank fishing dude again I'm new to kayak fishing but even when I'm bank fishing I take extra line um, and that's because a lot of times you know <laughs> if, if, if you do like I did on one of my episodes you'll see where I actually got a significant uh, whiplash uh, or bird's nest right uh, because I hit my hit my net right so uh, so with that said I would say another thing to do is on that checklist uh, be right before you cast off make sure you check your configuration so not only do you need to bring the right equipment with you, uh, not only do you need to bring the right protection with you, whether that's water, whether that's food, whether that's clothing and shelter, um, you know, clothing as shelter rather, uh, you want to make sure that you cast off the right way. And that's with, with your equipment in the right positions. A lot of times you can get out there, uh, get flustered because, you know, you forgot to put your, um, uh, your snips in the right place. You can't, you know, tie on appropriately. Or, you know, you, 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 you hook into a fish and he choked the bait, right? And it's so far down, it's treble hooks and you can't get your fingers in there to get it out. So different things like that, make sure that stuff's where it's supposed to be. I'm still figuring my stuff out, dude. So don't get me wrong, this is just the noobs 
uh, this is the news. Um, uh, this is just my my two cents on what you should do or, or how you should prepare before you cast off. What else? Make sure you drop a pin. Drop a pin. Um, talking to my wife all the time. Hey, you know, where are you going fishing? Oh, I'm going fishing. Hey, we're like, whoa, you know, where is that at? So when I get when I get there, I'll drop a pin so she'll know exactly um, where I am, where I cast, at least where I, I've cast it off so she'll know. Um, you can do other things like uh, they make little chips for your keychain. I'll probably do one of those as well. That way she can track me wherever I'm at on the water. It's GPS enabled. I think it's like 20, 40 bucks or something like that. So I plan to do that. I forget what it's called, dude. I'll, I'll put a link down in the, script, in the description on what it is that I'm talking about. Uh, let's see. All right, that's enough for now. Dude, there'll be more tips on this, and I'll probably do a consolidated video on just that one of the days where I'm, I can't go out fishing. Uh, just just for you know from for my 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 sake uh, and your sake as well deeper than I thought it was so I don't even have to break out the pedal straight pedal power yeah let's go ahead let's drop the rudder skag rudders work really well Obviously the idea to go out, get as deep as I can. Just like find some fish. Oh okay. I see some vegetation guys. I'm gonna go right over here. Before I go up with it. And then I'll get you guys out of sunlight. What about seven foot of water? We've been going back and forth between seven and ten. We're going into the wind so I can reel a little faster, try to catch up with my bait. But I'm not even, I'm barely seeing anything on the ground. Uh, guys, I'm just doing anything I can to get to get a bite. A couple kayakers out here. Just passed the guy. He said they got three. Don't know how long they've been out here. Uh, I imagine for a little bit they're headed back in. Man, I'm just, I'm hoping against the skunk, guys. We'll see. tell you what I'm throwing. I'm throwing a orange and black um, lipless crank because I'm trying to get as deep as I can. Let's see if I can show it to you. It's called the, the, the two tap. So it's really pretty. <laughs> Very enticing for the fish. <laughs> Nothing doing.
guy. On everything. Um, right now, I'm currently working a jig with a spinning rod, so you know I'm desperate. I've th thrown everything from soft plastics, uh, crank baits, jerk baits, uh, spinner, spinners, uh, man, everything. So check out the airplane above me. Oh, the the movements I'm making. I'm I'm showing a, another angler how uh, stable or unstable, however you look at it, the Hobie Pro Angler is. Exchange a, a few pleasantries and realize that he didn't catch any fish either. All right, we're headed back. Uh, I learned a lot today. And that's, I need to go back and learn. <laughs> I learned that I need to go learn how to fish deep. I was in 20, 24 feet of water. Man, the only thing I can think that can get that low you know, it's, it's like a jig. I was fishing in 18 feet to 20 feet with jig and was not getting anything. It wasn't until I pulled out a uh, uh, sort of like a yellow perch crankbait with a long spoon. So it got, a, got deep probably 10 to 12 feet. I need way more baits than what I currently have to fish deep. So I'm gonna have to hit up Bass Pro Shop, get a couple uh, deep, deep cranking deep cranking baits I caught two crappie didn't get any bass a couple guys that one guy pulled up and was like yeah man we caught 10 bass <laughs> it was three guys on the boat so I mean they caught 10 bass yeah I didn't get any bites on you know bass bites but the crappie were going after that yellow perch uh, uh, spoon I wish I would have threw that early. I would have caught just a mess of crappie, but so I can take back and cook. But I mean, it is what it is, dude. All in all, good day to learn. I learned a lot. Very upset about leaving the GoPro home. So I mean, I didn't get any, didn't get any, uh, any footage of the catches because I didn't have anything to record with, dude. Which kind of sucks. So. I avoided the skunk, but it was a grind. I fished, I fished for two hours, solid. Two bites, man. Two bites, two crap, two small crap. But I'm about to go home and cook them up for my wife <laughs> right now. So there you have it. Thanks, guys, for tuning in.